guys, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larisha. I am Andrew. And we are back with a taste test. Yep. We're keeping it simple for Andrew with just four things. <laughs> so we have we've seen Gardein bowls. We've tried Gardein bowls, but we have not seen Gardein Ultimate bowls. Um, I also tried to look on the interwebs for news that these got released, and I can find nothing. So I think they're new. Um, we were happened to be in Sprouts. We were happened. I was I was wondering, but I wasn't gonna, just say gonna go with the flow. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was all in. We happened to be in our local Sprouts and just saw them. There was a big sign that said they were new, and so we were like, "Let's do it." Pretty much, right? Yeah, no, nah, hundred yeah. percent. Yep. All right, so Down. we found four. Yep. Um, there is a beef and broccoli, a beef burrito, a meatball marinara, and a sweet and sour chicken. I always laugh because Gardein always puts the apostrophe like in the Chick middle of their- apostrophe in. Or like biff. Biff, biff. yeah. Um, so what, obviously Gar all of Gardein's products are vegan, so there was no question there, um, but they do say it on the label. Um, one thing that I immediately noticed was that as far as calories go, they're all under 400, most being under 350. Mm. So I just, I feel like a lot of times bowls like this are, they're a little bit heavier on the calorie side, but um, I also like wondered, I was like, are we going to open this and the bowl's going to be like this big? Exactly. And it's like, it's yeah. a hundred calorie pack. Yeah. Cause you get like three. Yeah. So. I'm saying like normal, like in the oh. calorie pack. You yeah, look yeah, so yeah. confused for a I was second. Like, three You're like what? three what? Like, yeah. <laughs> three pieces of chicken. Um, obviously it is a packaged product, so the sodium level is a bit higher. I was just gonna it's, say the same thing. I was gonna say, what about the sodium though? Yeah, so it's 35 to 40 percent of your daily sodium value, recommended value. So very much on the higher end if you are on a low salt diet these will not be for you but no. of course they're going to be great for like people traveling and need to, you know microwave meal or work or something i don't feel like making dinner tonight folks that can handle all this sodium yeah so if you're like 21 <laughs> i feel like we're getting to the age where like we cannot handle so much sodium at least not in a day no maybe once a week yeah probably something like that um the images look nice i remember when we tried the garden soups we were like there was like two pieces of meat in the entire can yeah so i wonder um how that's gonna be but any other things that you noticed or want to call out before we go cook these mm, not really just ready to taste yeah myself do you have a favorite do you think or do you are you excited to try one over another not really, because all of these are something that I would be like, oh, it sounds pretty good. And I would have a hard time selecting if I saw it in like a freezer and I was buying yeah. it for myself, you know what I mean? Right. So not really, kind of just yeah. want to see which one's the best and if they actually stack up to being good. All right, so we are back with the two ones that say beef on it. So beef and broccoli and then the beef burrito one. Beef. Beef. So um, it's definitely more, this one's like a, hamburger type of ground crumble. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one's more like the meat is actually meaty. Um, <laughs> they are small, obviously like they fit in my hand. So it's, it's taco and crumbles. Yeah. So like single serving, but there are, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, are 12. Are you counting them? Yeah. Wow. 12 pieces of meat inside of it. So. You're serious about making sure there's some good meat in there, huh? There's. <laughs> There's more meat than broccoli. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? Um, yeah. Okay. No broccoli? You got broccoli? I have broccoli. Okay. Yeah, it's just hiding under the rice. I hear you. Oh, you waiting for me? Yes. Ah, it's dropping on my hand. You been, haven't been waiting for me lately. We've done like two taste tests this year. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't waited in any one of them. Ready? Yeah. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. So for me, the texture of the meat is nice. The broccoli cooks well. The rice is nice. The sauce is nice, but... I was waiting for the butt. But it tastes... Tice? Tice! That's the West Virginia in me coming out. It tastes. Slightly like, 
It needs something like red pepper flakes or like more of a punch. Sriracha. I don't know. Do are you, you not... are you just grasping at something? What like, like a straw? <laughs> yeah, like like because I honestly think it tastes pretty good overall. I mean, I I think it could be flavors could be a bit more developed, but yeah. I don't think for like a TV dinner, like like I don't. I don't <laughs> I don't You're think taking it way back to the 1990s. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Do they I don't, still make those. I, I don't know, <laughs> but I don't think Hungry it's. Man. I don't think that's a bad idea. I mean, bad idea. I don't think that's uh, that it's too bad. No, no, no. I don't think it's bad. I agree with you there. I just, I, I want something more. So I guess I in a know. sense, should we be trying to compare this to like what we would make at home? No, we shouldn't be comparing it to right. what we would make at home. We should yeah. be comparing to like what is expected out of these things. Because okay. there's, there's a certain expectation when you yeah. get this, right? It's gonna have a lot of sodium. It's gonna- Be small -ish. Be small in terms of like your portion size. Like there's certain expectations. So yeah. in terms of flavor, the expectation probably would be like, all right, this isn't gonna be like what I season my food yeah. like. You know so what I mean? So it's pretty spot on as far as like what you should expect from a frozen dinner. Yes. Yes, I'll yep. agree with you there. All right, cool. Okay, cool. And, and I actually think it's really good frozen dinner. Okay, you wanna try this one? I think this one would be great served with like- Eight a, out of 10. A tortilla or like some tortilla chips or something. Just- We used to give ratings back in the day. I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little You're bit of a rating. You're gonna come back to that? Yeah, I, I am at least, okay. you don't have to. I'm just, I'm throwing it out there. Okay, I got it. Yeah. So eight out of 10 for that one? Eight out of 10. Oh, it's hotter. Huh? Temperature, it's hotter. Oh, I thought you said Harry Potter. No. <laughs> I was like, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> you're like, what in the world? Um, so if you're a person that is spice intolerant, this is a little spicy. Um, do you taste the kick or are you like, it's very bland? Cause usually you're like a kick. No, it's, a, it's, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but this has good flavor, like this is. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like this one seems bland compared to with all the flavor that you get out of something like this. Uh, I don't think so. That's still an eight out of 10. This is a nine out of 10, but this is this still eight out of okay. 10. Okay. Like unless there's something, I, I think you didn't mix it around right or something, I don't know. I... Maybe you chose the most, you know, the least saucy part of exactly. the- Exactly, oh, yeah. The okay. most like naked part of the whole dish that didn't didn't bathe in any sauce, maybe. Got it. Who knows? Um, I like this one better than I like this one. I would buy both of them again if we were traveling or something like that and wanted a quick meal. And like if they didn't have this one, I would still get this one if that's- Oh, 100%, 100%. I like this more as like one of the tastes that I like more. Yeah. But- I can get down with both of them. You know, both yeah. of them are really good. One of our, our youngest kid does not like spice. I would not buy this one for her or let her like get this one. Get a little bite of it, no? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. So, let's uh, go make the other one. I don't know why I... <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not reacting to anything. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just here. All right, we're gonna go cook the other two. Okay, so we are back with the last two. I did want to mention the allergens inside of the last two we just tried because I forgot. So the beef and broccoli has soy, wheat, and corn. And then the beef burrito one has soy and corn, no wheat inside of that one. So the two we have now are meatball marinara, which has soy, wheat, and corn. I thought I saw, no, I don't see it. Soy and wheat inside of this one. And then the sweet and sour chicken has soy, wheat, corn, and pea inside of it. What you looking at? Uh, I was surprised that when you mentioned this one, you didn't mention like sesame, but I guess it's either because you forgot and it's not on here or it's just not on here. Oh, but did you see se sesame? No, I just thought maybe that sauce would have had some included oh. in it in some fashion, but it's not. Mm -mm. Okay, cool. All right, let's try, we'll try this one first. Okay. Um, so this is a meatball marinara. There are five meatballs inside of here. <laughs> I counted, counted the meatballs, yeah. yeah. Are you right. eating whole meatballs? 
Yeah. Okay. No, should we cut it? Well, I was just asking. We'll cut it's one. Up to, it's up to you. There's also like a lot of, I don't know if it's spinach or parsley or, oh my gosh. You take that because it's a bigger size. <laughs> Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You have, have like a baby noodle. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Go. favorite so far yes yeah um the meatballs have like a slightly frozen taste to yeah. them um which i don't care for the sauce is nice but there also isn't there's enough of it but i really like sauce on pasta yeah we're i'm here so i would prefer to have more sauce yep. but again it, it's not horrible um, it's it's doable, but out of the other three that we're talking about, if we're in a store, I'm not gonna pick this one. Got it. Right? I'm I'm 100% with you. Okay. I didn't like that one that much. Um, so this one is a sweet and sour. It literally looks like they're orange chicken pieces, just with sweet and sour sauce. I felt like the sauce was lacking a lot of flavor in there, more than the expectation. Oh, okay, that's oh, And I'm wondering, that wasn't like, I guess the question is, that didn't have like frozen bits in it. Did you see almost like frostbite? No, it did. None of them did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just figured because if it tastes saw... watered down a bit, oh, okay. you know. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. So this is literally just. It looks like their chicken. That you want to cut another piece of this too. Like cut one in half. Um, I mean we can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you have that half. And then there's bits of like pepper and pineapple and stuff inside of here as well. Ready? Yep. Yep. I think. Well, I actually have to blow on it first. Was it hot? Mm -mm. I thought I dropped it. Oh. Oh my god, it was hot. Oh, it was hot. It was so hot. Was... <laughs> it's so hot. I'm doing like I was juggling in my mouth. You what in your mouth? I was trying to juggle it in my mouth. Mm. Oh, I was hot. So I really like Guardian's chicken. Um, so I like it in here as well. I think it gives a nice taste to the dish. I think that the sauce is balanced really well with how much other things is. I wish there was more rice because I feel like, I feel like it's almost more chicken than it is rice in this. I can see that. Yeah. Um, or maybe it needs like broccoli added. I don't know. It's something, but I really like the flavor of this one. I think that the, the flavor of this one might be my favorite out mm. of the four. Okay. Um, when we're comparing Asian based frozen dinners from them, so the beef and broccoli and this one, I prefer this one, mm -hmm. um, personally, but I think you're going to say you prefer the beef one. <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. I probably yeah. prefer the beef one, but you also I think don't this like, is like a, fruit, so. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good second. The pineapples actually, I don't really mind. Oh, okay. Um, but I think it's a close, like second place for me though. It's not like far off. Yeah, so would you, you would prefer this one over... Six out of ten. What's this one? Maybe even a five. Uh, this, it would be that, you know, eight out of ten mark for me too. Okay, Almost so you would prefer the... Nine-ish. The burrito bowl over all of them then? Because you gave that one a nine. I... Or is it just the flavor that you're giving the ranking to? So... <laughs> There's a lot to consider. My ranking is specific to its comparison to like a frozen dinner. Okay. So like what the taste would be from a frozen dinner, what the portion size would be from a frozen dinner. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Yeah. So that's what my ranking, like if I'm comparing this to like a normal meal, those Got rankings it. would be like way yeah. off. You know what but I I'm mean? But I'm saying, so my question is like, which one would you, you're in a store now. Yep. And this is the only frozen option you have, and we don't have a place to cook, so we only have a microwave. Which one out of the four are you picking? Well, it depends on how many days I'm staying there. Because oh my gosh! If I'm staying there three days, well, one, maybe, have one maybe night. I pick three. One night. We have one night yep. to eat something, and this is the only option we can pick. Which one are you choosing? I would ask somebody else to choose because I would have a hard time. <laughs> Serious, you, you know I do that. I'll be, I'll be like asking our daughter, like, hey, which one do you think I should do? And they'll pick one. I'll be like, all right, I'll do it. 
Because I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, uh, I don't know what to choose. Okay. Uh, I would prefer this one over all of them, but my second, close second, would be the burrito bowl. Personally. Are you hungry? I can hear your stomach. No. <laughs> You like that one so much that you're thinking about eating the rest of it? No. Okay, um, as far as pricing goes for these, uh, they're roughly $4.50 to $5.50 depending on the store. We got them for $5.50 at Sprouts, but when I type them in on Google, they come up as $4.50 in Target, like on that little like shopping thing banner that pops up. Mm -hmm. However, when I search the Target app at our local store, they do not come up. Uh, so I can't verify that, but it seems yeah. like that's the range $4.50 to $5.50-ish, yeah. which is pretty on par with other frozen dinners. They are on the smaller side. It is a single serving for, you know, the nutritional label. So it's not at least that. I feel like some, two certain no, So it's although it's on the smaller side, I would honestly say like after, so I ate the rest of one of our bowls. Um, while we before, waited for this. We, like while, before shooting these ones, I should say. And um, I feel fairly, like I feel satisfied. Like I don't really feel like eating anymore. Yeah. Like I could have went without eating these and been perfectly fine. Right. So. I think although they're on the smaller side, they are filling. Yeah. Compared to what I just ate. Obviously, I didn't eat these other ones too. But. Yeah. He did also drink two glasses of water, which you should be doing with your meals anyway. But I think that's also a consideration is that you want to flush out all the sodium and oh, two yeah. just 100%. because you always drink a lot of water. I heard you're not supposed to drink with your meals. I've, I've always done it, but I've, I've heard that. I think you told me that, but we never like looked it up. You're supposed to wait until like after you're done and then drink. Or I don't something. know if it was it after something? you're done. It's more like like you have to wait some time period after, and I I don't I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. But I just wanted to throw it out there. We'll have to do some research on that. Sound our like oldest our kid sounds, says that all the time. She's like, I have to do some research anytime we give her a suggestion lately. So yay, tweens. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are in life with yep. kids. <laughs> oh, one other thing that we didn't mention is they are very, very high in protein. Um, so if you're somebody that, you know, you're trying to make sure you get recommended amount of protein while you're traveling and, and stuff like that, um, that one has 15. I think the, the burrito bowl is the smallest amount. It has 14. So 14, 15, and then... Um, both the meatball marinara and the beef and broccoli have 18 grams um, inside of bowl, which is a lot of protein for yeah, a little thing. For sure. So, great job again, Gardein. For the most part, we, I think there's like two Gardein products we we don't like, but for the most part, we we love Gardein. That's pretty good so. products out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we try not to eat like this often at all, but when we do, it's yeah. a good choice. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, is this like the end? Are we done? Like this is this is it? It's time to say goodbye. What? What's that? That was like an ending of like a like Mr. Rogers or something. The time has come to end. I don't I don't remember it exactly. Did you I, that, watch Mr. Rogers? That sounds like a scary movie. The way you said that. <laughs> like Annabelle. Or yeah. Something. Like what the heck? The time to say goodbye. I was like, what? Okay, now that um, I've scared my husband. We hope you guys like this taste test video. If you have anything you want us to try, leave a comment below and we will do our best to find it. I feel like there hasn't been a lot of like newer things coming out. I, um, I just wonder, I feel like there has been, but we haven't been like um, made aware of it that much. Yeah. I don't know either, either because we're not searching for it like we used to uh -huh. um or something else but i know but even, we used to be like on it like oh my yeah, god what, we did have somebody ask coming? us when we were going to do a you trader I mean? joe video but we were in trader joe's also yesterday and there wasn't anything new yeah there was like one product and i was like well we can't do a video with one product so yeah i mean, I mean we, we could. could but jinx one two three you broke yours i didn't even say jinx i just I put know. my fingers <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next video. Believe in good. Bye. Peace.